I'm going to show you how to get all the chests and the warp trotter in the supply zone of Herta Space Station. So the first one you're going to do is go here. And that's going to be really weird because coming here is relevant on based on when you've been here. If you're right here the first time, it's like set up differently. There's boxes in places there weren't before. So like come here later if anything's weird. Okay, just come here later if anything's weird. And also, we need the authentication key cards to open doors. I have a link for that in the description of this video. I have a video on how to get all the authentication key cards for the Herta Space Station. Anyway, go here. Go to this spot for the first one. All right, so we're going to go up here. There's going to be one right here. I already grabbed it, so it's gone for me. But it, it was right here on the map. There's one right there. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to head up this way. And if it's the first time you've done it, I think you got to flip that switch down there. I don't, I don't remember which way you came in or which way was what. But some which way or another, you cross this thing. And the very first time you come here, there's a bunch of boxes that block you from coming right through here. But the second time you come here, there's no boxes here anymore. But right over here is the chest. And you'll get it right there. But the first time you have to cross the bridge and come get it. If you come back later, you just come here and just grab it. It's right there. Okay. So then after that, we're going to go ahead and fast travel to this one. So now we're right here on the map. You're going to go forward a little bit and just go right here in this little cubby. It's right here. I already grabbed it, but it was right there. So right there on the map. So now after that one, you're going to want to head over here down this hallway. And if I can, I'm going to try to slip past him. There we go. Okay. So we're gonna head up this hallway and up into this room. Now, the first time you go in this room, there's enemies in here. Now it's safe zone. Well, you're gonna go all the way back to right here. This is where it was. It was right there on the map and I've already grabbed it, but that's where it was. Okay, so now you're going to continue on as if you were going down towards the, um, the train. And the uh, next one was right here. And I've already grabbed it, but it was right there, right next to this fast travel. So after that one, then what you're going to want to do is go over to this fast travel, the electrical room. Now, this is where I don't know if you need the authentication card or what. You come back later for this. I'm not sure. But there's a panel here you interact with and it opens this door if you have whatever it is you need. It might be the authentication cards or it might be come back later. I don't know. Again, if you need authentication cards, I have a video for that. Link in the description of this video. Anyway, go down here. And if you go down into this room and go left, there's a basic treasure right there. Okay, so that was right there on the map. Okay, after that, you're going to go back to the spare parts warehouse fast travel right up here. And now we got it right here. Okay, and again, this is the one you got to come back later because this door is closed the first time. So we're going to go up here and interact with this. But we have an enemy. Okay, so we have to kill the enemy first in order to do that because we can't do it while an enemy is fighting us or chasing us. So now we got to do this first. Let's make it quick. This is our chance. Yeah. Okay, so after you clean those guys up, now you can go over here, you can interact with this. And now we are right here on the map, going into this room. And inside of here is a warp trotter. Now, I'm not going to show where all the other chests are because I don't, I don't, it's probably used to confusing no and I'll do it later, but, or some other time in another video maybe. But for now, we're just getting all the ones for the completionism ones, the basic chest and the warp trotter. So now you'll go to do this fight and the warp trotter will run if you don't kill it fast enough. So you've got to go fast enough. Like, as yeah, far as turns, not like actual real life time. Gotta try hard to watch this awesome move. You? Who will it be? Told you I could fight. Let's go. You're fighting. No. <laughs> Tough luck, Red. Okay, so that's the warp trotter. The story also, the there home. is one of these chests back here. And in order that you gotta do this puzzle. So it's just gonna be like this. And then you can interact with the bountiful treasure, which was right here on the map. So now I said I wasn't going to show you where all the chests were. Um, I did some exploring after this, and maybe there isn't not another chest because I just went literally everywhere that's accessible. I went back here, like maybe it's back here. I think that was all the chests. Although if you do go back here, there's whatever this is. I'm about to find out. I'm going to book a meeting. Okay, I don't I don't know what that that did for me. I guess 
don't know if that unlocked something or not, or that was just for fun, but yeah, that was back here. There were no chests back here. There was a memory bubble back here, though, over there. Uh, if you know how to do the memory bubbles, though, I have a link for that in the description of this video as well. Which, by the way, check the description of this video for other helpful um, Honkai Star Rail videos. I've got all sorts of things, beginner guide, all sorts of fun things. I've also got how to, you know, uh, interact with the bubble, memory bubbles, stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, hopefully this helped you out, guys. Now you know how to get all the chests and the Warped Trotter and 100% completion, basically, of those types of elements in the supply zone of the Herda Space Station.